The Joy Business Van, empowered by Joy Business and supported by EcoBank, the Pan-African Bank. Arguably, the Ghanaian breakfast is not complete without bread. Bread is probably just about the most common snack in the country and the bakery business seems to be booming. One of the popular brands comes from this bakery we are taking you to. HP Bakery is managed by Adelaide Rind of Beniti. The business dates back to the 70s and was handed over by her father just this year. The family business was started by Adelaide's grandmother in a kitchen. Uh, she was a caterer, so when she didn't have any catering gigs, she would bake bread and she would sell it in front of the house. And the neighborhood uh, folks started patronizing the bread. And it was called home pride bread, actually. But um, the neighborhood people nicknamed it HP bread for the H and the P in the home pride. So it became HP bread. Adley's grandmother, also called Adley, grew a following. What was a part-time business now seemed viable. After almost two decades, Adelaide would move from baking in her kitchen to her garage. That was when she passed the business on to her only son, Edwin Carl Randolph. Edwin, an accountant who was living outside the country at the time, had the tough task of growing the business. I had to learn a lot more by myself okay. to get where I am now. Management, um, everything, nearly everything. And then studying the Ghanaian business uh, atmosphere, climate, okay. which is another thing altogether. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I did. But I had to go at it slowly, mm -hmm. step by step. Well, step by step, Edwin grew the business. At a point, it was difficult to meet demand. That informed the decision to transform the business from manual production to acquiring automated equipment. This cost about 500,000 cities, an investment that has paid off. And when he started with the investments in the business, I was very scared because I, I felt, wow, this, this is our lifeline. And if we are not able to make the production to pay this money back, we're going to kill the business. But it, 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 it has been a journey. It has been a journey. It took a lot of time to pay it off. But we are here today. Today, HP Bakery supplies thousands of outlets in the city of Accra and is no longer in the garage. Edwin is now retiring from the business after successfully managing it for 30 years. And when it was time to decide on who would take over from Edwin, the lot fell on Adelaide, one of five children. She faces the uphill task of building on the successes talked by her father, the chartered accountant is not exactly new to the business though. I've always worked in the bakery from when I was a child. I mean, my daughter is here, she's on vacation. It was the same thing. This was how I started. You come in on vacations or when you close from school and then you jump in and help with anything that needs done. So by the time I was 10, I could make a, look of, a loaf of bread. By the time I was 10, I mean, you, you put me in the bakery and I can do everything because it was how we grew up. So I don't see it as a job. It is just what we do. We make bread. Adelaide, however, recognizes the bread bakery business is changing and would take more innovation to stay profitable. My first order of business was social media. So I immediately got us on social media. We just started it um, just last month. We got on Facebook. Uh, we started with that slowly. And we are doing it ourselves. We don't really have any help to do it. So me and my sisters are working on the social media to see how well it will go. We branded our vehicles. We want to start taking our billboards. Eventually, we may look at advertising, but as usual, I'm a little wary about, um, you know, uh, spending too much money, just being cautious. But I just want us to grow the brand name. Adelaide has got the support of her siblings, and the aim is to expand and have production centers across the country. And who knows, perhaps export bread from Ghana. One thing is for sure, the family legacy continues. We'll be happy. That's all.